I'm trying to remember why I was created. Or at least, that's what I'd like you to think. Because amnesia sounds a lot better than just plain ignorance. Well, even ignorance is defined as a lack of knowledge. See, I'm just faking it. Pretending as if I don't know when really I do. I felt less than what my designer thought was best, so I suppressed to a super naturally intended me to be. No lie, I got relaxed. Then I combined by weaving a little bit of his will with a whole lot of mine. So, how do I look? Because I think I look good. I have time to change and to fix any minor things I may lack. It's not like he's coming back tomorrow. Seriously, how long have you heard this? these are the last days? It's the same old song. Now, is it just me? Or do these last days seem to be lasting kind of long? I know I'm not perfect. I've had so many I couldn't count my falls, Niagara. Instead of responding to his call, I'd rather schedule him, Viagra. Whatever is wrong, I know that he can heal. But I want the cattle on a thousand hills with the ability to still grab the will while grasping onto my own will like Jacob to Esau's heel. My love is based, and his love is based on how I feel. He loves me. He loves me not, like pulling petals off flowers. Yes, he's coming back, but no man knows the day or the hour. What, what happened then? I've been at the altar, waiting for you. To repent. What happened? You've lost weight? Yes. I wanted to look good for you, so I haven't been eating my daily bread. bread of heaven is who I am. But it's scary. I give you loaves of my word, but you're getting by with the crumbs of commentaries. You needed... I needed a makeover. No one was attracted to me, so I dressed up the gospel. Stage silent, sing sin, saturate sanctuaries, shadow in sight with smoky eyes, because you know, you are love. No. I am your cover, girl. I make up. For your lacks and deficiencies, I'm your very foundation. See, I blend with you perfectly. No need for concealer, for I'm the revealer of all. Don't you recall when I tore your veil? So, you saying you don't like my lashes, you don't like my nails? You don't understand. You don't understand. I took lashes for your lashes. I took nails for your nails. And if I'm not gaining your heart, then I'm just losing time because more than I want you to be outwardly beautiful, I need you to be mine. Okay, well, we're here now, so let's just get on with the ceremony. Knowing there'll be no one in attendance, never extended any invitations, too excited about the reception and all the gifts that you would get that you forgot about my presence. Presents, dollar dances, I take quarters, nickels, and the world could keep their dime. Pieces of silver don't impress me. Don't forget what happened to Judas. You just failed to see that I've changed. I admit I grew distant and lost sight of you, the absolute value, missing the sign. So now at times with ignorance, I co-sign, unable to stay away from tangents. I thought I had the right angle. Look, I know your heart has been broken, but if you can keep your eyes fixed on me, I can repair us, and we will no longer be fractions being dominated by denominations. Yet I choose to stay divided like Palestinian nations. Yes, your fouls have been flagrant. Your fouls have been flagrant. I am positive I'm the one for you, but we will equal nothing if you continue to be the negative one in this equation. Can you sense my frustration? You are holy. So I have to impose what's legalistic, making appeals for what you already acquitted, obsessed with overruling objections, purposely plucking purpose. Professing prosperity, practicing pride, prosecuting people persistently.
When you became the judge, you took away the saint's defense and see you silenced the testimonies of my witness. So no one's ever convicted. Yet so many of my children are turned away from life because you condemned them with your death penalty sentence. Not all of them. Which reminds me about their entries. In the Lamb's Book of Life, some of the names you may have skipped. So with attendance, I stamp their wrist so that they can get in. The VIP section, we don't address their sin, neither do we offend. Bouncers don't trip on those who abundantly give. Besides, all of the praying grandmothers had a plus one on the list. Well, tell them they won't see me. By visiting you routinely, be the example that you need relationship with me. You are far more than stained glass windows, pulpits, pews, and singers. So if you really want to see my church, just look in the mirror. But you wanted me to be fine, righteous, perfect, and eloquent. But this land seemed desolate and needed development. I exceeded your budget, so I withdrew from Tyra's bank, continuing to remodel, staying culturally relevant. My girl Katrina called and said hurricanes and hard times came and you didn't make yourself evident. I told you, I would never leave thee nor forsake thee. I hear you, but I had immediate needs. But you promised that you would wait, wait for, for you. Me. By the way, what happened to your ring? My ring. You don't remember the ring? When I called you out of darkness and into marvelous things, you wear it in you, not on you. It was my spirit, my sign to remind you and your ex who you really belong to. My ring, I pawned for money to get back to who I thought was my first love. He spoke to me. His word is so sweet. He waves and I feel the sureness of my wrong decision shifted my view. He wanted me to see breeze so I could forget where the sun sets. Next, I was convinced that I didn't need to repent for my sin. He told me that he could wash me with the tide that was coming in. The weather was pleasant on the Atlantic surface, but as I got to his core, the temperature drastically changed. Yes, I contracted an STD. He burned me at about 9,800 degrees. He was my earth. He was my world. And I'm sorry to tell you, but there's more. You think I wouldn't notice the symptoms and the signs and your unexplainable cravings for sin of all kinds? You even had trouble sleeping. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy didn't come in the morning sickness. So now in my pain and my mourning, you witness. witness me take the pill for the morning after, coincidentally located right next to my box of alabaster. I was too shameful to bring forth alabaster. Third lies of wicked men's tongues started deceiving you and automatically planted the seeds of deceit in you. And when you were pregnant with falsehood, it became impossible to conceive the truth. The truth made me free, but I ran back to what I was comfortable with. Being enslaved, a mind to pray, but I'm sure you don't want me now. I'm not worth the price you paid. They flogged me with whips and left my flesh stripped. I was beat with their instruments rhythmically, which caused my skin to bleed symphonies. I can still remember the hooks like a chorus. Those weren't just 66 letters. They were musical stalls, which contained every note to keep us on one accord for you to always have the right keys to my heart's doors. I just wanted a sample, but I repeat sin like looping eight bars. And on my own temple, I began to embark. Instead of following your instrumentation, I drowned out your heartbeat of timpani. And your strains of harmonies ignore the woodwinds of your spirit. If your trumpet sounded, I wouldn't hear it or even the brass ring. Because I've like tracks upon tracks of acapella so I can hear myself sing. Majoring in minor has left me scratched like broken records. Causing my life to, causing my life to, causing my life to stutter. I'm a 
false instructor pretending as if I'm watching the conductor. I'm too unlawful to be your wed wife, and I'll probably never recover. I will put to the test when I had to choose to escape glory and escaping glory to bear torment upon my flesh, you. The reason I embraced that cross like my child who was long lost, Mary. My own mother couldn't even recognize the disfigured face of her son, me. It's what I gave you on the cross of Calvary when it was done. I told you I loved you. How much? Well, I showed you. You called it crucifixion. I call it proposal. Will you carry me? You don't need a third party. You have direct access to me. We don't even have to worry about remembering our anniversary. Because I've yet to find a calendar with a date for eternity. I... Grace and mercy is what I lavish upon you. You had a love recession, but I can supply the missing piece that your heart demands, and then some. some cry over spilled milk, I weep over spilled blood, which cannot be measured in pints to count my love. My love was contingent on what was instant. I, I know I, I had, had to, to come, come to repentance. Father, forgive me. Them. For they I know not, not what, what they I've do. Done. I'll get myself together. Please. I'll clean myself Please. up. Please. Allow me. I'm the only one that can make you clean. Without, without spot, spot, without, without wrinkle, without, without blemish. blemish. Your bridesmaid's goodness and mercy shall follow you. It is already finished. It was you who I chose. Even though I called many, I am coming back for you. Will 